My name is Sarah Jarvis. I'm a yoga student as well as an instructor at, at this point. I got my certification in March 2008 after uh, being in, involved in yoga for about two years. Uh, I originally went to Furman University down in South Carolina, wasn't really ready for, for school and so when I left I felt a, a large sense of failure within myself and uh, my mom said, well why don't you just go to the gym and kind of take care of yourself. So that's when I took my first yoga class, was actually in a gym. I was hooked immediately, I, I really liked the mind-body uh, benefits of it. And so I've been doing ever since and then uh, have been teaching since 2008. So there are certain poses that have metaphorical implications in life. Um, for instance, there's Hanumanasana, which is the monkey pose. And Hanuman was, was the monkey god in, in Hinduism. And, uh, and it's, it's sort of all about like doing the impossible, right? So of course Hanumanasana is forward splits, <laughs> which is considered one of the, the achievements in flexibility. Um, there are uh, other poses like uh, uh, Kakasana is, is the crow pose, and that has to do with, um, it's an arm balance pose. And so uh, you, do, you don't think of a crow as constantly balancing on its arms, but it is. And, and so you, you kind of get into that mindset. Um, corpse pose, another one, Savasana, it's not enough to just lay flat on your back and close your eyes. It's a dress rehearsal for your own death. And so once you think of it that way, it really becomes a mind body. It's, it's like a challenge, like how dead can I imagine myself? And, and it's not so much in that competition with yourself. It's, it's not a competition. It's just, it's just gearing your mind, opening your mind a little bit more um, towards something that, that is eventual. So there's no pride in yoga, but um, one of the things that is a real benefit is cultivating core strength in, in the core and in the upper body. So I'm going to do something that, that really illustrates that. As for branding yoga as a conventional treatment rather than alternative, um, I think that, that, that there's still always going to be these hardline skeptics that, that are going to say, no, it can't be conventional. Uh, we have, to, we have to, to put an asterisk on it as, you know, this isn't something that, that was done um, allopathically, which is like the, the, the Western or biomedical medicine. Uh, it's not easy to be healthy. It's, it's a choice and it's, it's, a, it's work. <laughs> you have to work on yourself just like you work on your career and on your studies and everything. Um, so it'll, it will be as conventional as, as it can be with, with regard to the way our society conducts itself.